met, my dears. Well met indeed. What brings you here? Your counsel I need. Yaga the bony, Yaga the great. You want to manipulate the Tsar's fate. Upon his throne, I will bestow a fate of sorrow, bad luck, and woe. The rightful Tsar had failed my test. He was unkind, just like the rest. He said to me, leave, ugly hag, when all I did was ask for bread. And as his guards drove me away, I laid my curse. And he heard me say, oh, I shall leave, but hear this from me. How you'll treat others, treated you'll be. The one who is cursed with dreadful luck will be around when your throne turns to muck. But if you kill him by your own command, all of your tsardom will turn into sand. <laughs> so ever since then, he searched every day to find the unlucky one and send him away. And now he's found him. A man with no charm. Ivan the blacksmith, who's missing an arm. Yaga, our friend, we lend you our skill. Ivan, we shall use. To fulfill your will. Blacksmith? You work in the village, and people say you are followed by bad luck. Broken swords, bent nails, splintered helmets, crumbled wheels. Everything you create shatters to dust, and you bring misfortune upon us all. One day, I was at home with my baba, and she said to me, Oh, Ivan, my needle's broke again. Would you make your poor old grandma some new ones? Sure, baba. I'll make you a couple so strong you'll be able to weave chains with them. I just need to find some enchanted iron. Be careful, Ivan. Do not worry. If there's misfortune in the world, I haven't met it yet. Oh, and if you're out there, see if you can find yourself a wife. Later that day, I was going through a beautiful forest. Little did I know what would follow. My way was blocked. I had to smash through using my hammer. I had to go through some thorny spikes. I quickly rolled through them to avoid wild animals were upon me. I got ready for the fight. Tired from the fight, I approached a clearing. Bad fate was waiting for me there. Dear traveler, with that sweet face, what brings you here to Nico's place? I left my grandma at the door to go and find some magic ore. You seek magic? Are you stuck? How do you feel about your luck? Bad luck? I think that's just entails. Hard work and patience never fails. Uh, a non-believer, then. I see. Looks like the fate is kind with me. Come now with me, before you're thinner. You're just in time to be my dinner. <laughs>
I have to eat now. It is late. And I will have you on my plate. And now you know, bad luck is real. It is my name. <laughs> and you're my meal. I had grown tired from the fight. I swung my hammer with my might. And when I nearly hit her head, she laughed at me and it broke instead. So I just ran. I ran away. I had no time to stop and pray. And in my path fixed in a tree, a golden axe was there for me. But as I grabbed and said, what luck, I realized my hand was stuck. And then she raised her deadly knife and tried to rob me of my life. But as she swung with evil charm, I moved aside and she chopped my arm. She grabbed it and she said, how sweet. And so I got up on my feet. I started running, dripping blood. Well, not a drip, it was a flood. But right behind I heard a crash and then I fell down with a splash. As I blacked out, I heard a shout. This one is mine now. You get out. Next thing I know, I was awake. Back in the village with great ache. That is a sad tale indeed, but it just proves you have bad luck. For this, I should banish you, send you away, and forbid you to return. But I am not unkind. Instead, I will give you a chance to bring me something precious and clear your name. Go far away, wherever you may, and bring me back strength beyond measure. But return without it, and my guards will just drive you away. To go far away, I will need some Copex for my travels. Copex? Very well. I am not unkind. Here, use these wisely. Go now. Return only when you can give me strength beyond measure. Go now. Return only when you can give me strength beyond measure. Ivan, my dear boy, I heard what happened. That wretched sir sending my boy away instead of finding a wife. What will you do, Ivan? Though it seems impossible, I must do what must be done. Listen, my dear boy, I know of a tale, a story long lost, an apple that makes you strong as an ox. I think you could take that fruit to the Tsar. Yaga knows about it and she's never far. How can an apple give strength? Yes, Ivan, a golden apple. Picked when it is ripe, straight from the branch. Only one apple ripens every seven years. Maybe it is time now. Baba Yaga will know. Find her and she will tell you. The powerful witch, deep in the forest. Her house sits on a chicken leg. I'll tell you an old poem about her. At night in the forest, you should be afraid. Yaga is there, caressing her braid. In front of her house, there's a skull on a spike. No stories about her are ever alike. Sometimes she gives you advice and some magic. Sometimes you're pushed in the oven. How tragic. She will give you good advice if you find her. I will go to Baba Yaga. Wish me well. 
I am glad you are listening, but I hope you do not want to go empty-handed. She will need a gift when you meet her. It is said the best gift for her is a wormy bone and a cloth with a poor man's sweat. Ooh, where could I find a wormy bone? The graveyard, of course. But don't go digging there yourself. Talk to the Undertaker. He must have some bones from old graves he cleaned up. The sweat of a poor man. Yes, that one is easy. Talk to the hay farmer behind the church. He's the poorest peasant in the village, him and his brother. Oh, go to them, Baba, and ask for their help. Take some Kopex with you. It's not much, but it's what I can give. Now go, Ivan. Help them if they need. Then return to me before you go. I have more to tell you. I want to see you back and wed, not cold and dead. Before you leave, you should go to your anvil and make some weapons. You will need them in your journey. Oh, and while you're out there, see if you can find yourself a wife. I'll take these ore pieces with me. I might need them to craft things. Perhaps I can use this cartwheel. The best offense is a good defense. Or was it the other way around? No time to rest now. The Tsar is waiting. Greetings, Tsar. Interested in some talismans? Ha <laughs> ha! Here's what I have for you today. Pleasure doing the business, sir. Come back soon. Tell me, dear blacksmith, how is your arm? Do you want some magic? Maybe a charm? A magic item, if you have on you, for a small price, I can make it too. A magic item, if you have on you, for a small Ivan, have 
Have you seen my brother? He was to sell my hay. Two days. And no word. I do hope he's not drinking the money again. The fool. The who? Winter is almost here, and we need food. But why didn't you sell it yourself? Oh, brother always gets a better bargain. Good with words, he is. If I find him, will you give me that red cloth on your head? This? It keeps sweat out of my eyes. But I will give it to you. I'll look for him, but where should I start? Oh, thank you, Ivan. The market is near some farms. He can't be far. They stole my coffin lid. I can't live well nor die well in this village. Who were they? Do you think I would still be out here if I knew? Why does it say, rest in peace on my grave, if I'm not even allowed to do that? Why can't the dead simply stay dead? Blessing before you go. What kind of blessings would you like? Blacksmith, do you need a blessing before you go? You are kind, Blacksmith. Take this, it will guide you in your journey. Is there anything else I can help you with? I was just thinking about you. My spade is worse with every grave I dig. The blade has gotten blunt as a wooden spoon, and you can't really dig graves with a spoon, can you? Can you help me out, blacksmith? Of course. I'll just hammer it a bit. Oh, great. Let's see the blacksmith at work. The spade is much better now. It will still dig some graves. Now that you've helped me, is there anything I can help you with? I need a bone, rotten and filled with worms. Do you have something like that? Oh, I always end up with a few of these in my pockets. Here, take this one. It's too hard to crack, so you can have it. Thanks, Ivan. <laughs> Life is hard, <laughs> but the cows are happy. Hear me out. <laughs> what beautiful lady sits in the dungeon. But her ponytail is outside. Uh, uh, ooh, um... A carrot! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where do you get all these stupid riddles from? <laughs> Dick 
simply stay dead. <laughs> Have any tips, bird? Do not die. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Do you have any tips, bird? Other is watching. What? Things don't look good for him. Where is Ivan going now? Unbearable. upon you, traveler. Listen to this old priest, and I will reward you handsomely. You're a talking goat. What's this priest nonsense you talk of? Don't let my hooves fool you. I'm as surely a priest as the sky is blue and grass is green. I was just punished a bit. Who punished you? Why... God himself. You see, I was blinded by the devil who fogged my eyes with greed. In a moment of weakness, I took to impersonating a goat devil to earn myself a fortune. What happened next? I managed to get my hooves on the fortune, but it came with a price. God punished me for my lapse in judgment and made my costume into a skin. Soon after, my wife found no more use in keeping me around and sold me to this crazy shepherd. You seem to have redeemed yourself. I'll help you get out of this pain. I'll be your most faithful companion. I'll carry things for you. 
I'll ram your enemies in combat. I'll use my priestly blessings to heal you. Anything. Just get me out of this pen somehow. I beg of you. I'm not promising anything just yet. Hurry up, blacksmith! Fancy some cheese, traveller? I'd rather we talk about your goats. What of them? One of them can talk. Can you not hear it? I want you to leave it in my care. What do you mean? All of my goats can talk. I see. The black one. What do you want for it? Oh, you must be mad. The black one's useless. She barely gives any milk at all. Still, I'll not part with it for just any amount of kopecks. However, if you prefer a job instead, get rid of the Roman bandits nearby, and I'll give you the goat. Bandits, you say? Never mind the goat. I'll have to deal with them. The Tsar's land is no place for bandits. So glad our paths have crossed, dearest blacksmith. I thought I was doomed. My brother must be worried sick for me. How did you end up tied to a tree? Oh, I sold all my brother's hay at the market. But a band of thieves cornered me and robbed me blind on my way home. Be kind. Don't leave me here. Set me free, I beg you. Right away. Oh, bless your soul, Ivan. Oh, although I, I would have one more thing to ask of you, if I may dare. Oh, well, me and my brother, um, we are in terrible need of those kopecks. Without them, we'll barely make it through the winter. Dearest blacksmith, if you could be able to get my kopecks back from the bandits, we would be forever in your debt. They must have a camp not far from here. Worry not. Leave it all to me. You should find uh, about a uh, hundred kopecks. Good luck. Must have used it to defend himself. I might find a use for it.
This chain could be useful. Let's see. Now I can grapple across. Right there. What do you want? You stole the poor man's hard-earned money. Give it back. We stole what? We are the ones who were robbed. We're outlaws, all right, but we don't pick on the simple folk. Now leave us be, or we'll teach you a lesson. A thief's a thief, no matter who he steals from. Prepare to face your punishment. Lads, get him!
Fancy some cheese, traveller? Where do I find the bandits? <laughs> They're roaming around the area. Walk around and you're bound to find them. Fancy some cheese, traveller? I've rid you of the bandits, now give me that goat. Huh, I can finally rest easy, knowing my goats are safe. Here's your reward. <laughs> my instincts were right! You are as foolish as you look! Good luck catching me! <laughs> I could never refuse some good goat cheese. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I uh, seem to have just run out.
Evan made lots of choices in his quest. What will he learn after he's had some rest? Do you have any tips? Magic is rough. What? This is the road back home. My brother? Your brother was robbed by bandits, but he's safe now. Oh, dear me. Uh, what about the Copex? Here they are. Thank you, Ivan. I will not forget this. And here is my sweat rag. Be careful, it is wet. <laughs> Wormy bone and a cloth with a poor man's sweat? I got both of them. I am ready to go to Baba Yaga now. Wish me well, Grandma. Then go to the forest to find Baba Yaga. She will help you. Do what she asks, as she knows what's right. Travel well, my boy. Oh, and while you're out there, see if you can find yourself a wife. <laughs> Greetings. Uh, interested in some talismans? Ha <laughs> ha. Here's what I have for you today. Ivan seems troubled. Where is he going now?
Let's see where this road takes me. Ivan enters the forest. Steady on his feet. As good a place as any for him and I to meet. Here is your object. Have it back. Day. These are all the coins. Now, please stop hitting me. Okay, okay, take them all. Mujik. Okay, I'll shut up now. Why? Just leave me alone! my chicken here. I have never seen such a thing in my life. Are the eggs giant as well? Oh yes, can you imagine? You could feed a whole village with a single egg. Imagine the omelette. She loves enchanted corn cobs. <laughs> Bring one to her and she'll do anything you wish. Here, chick, 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 chick. I want to pass now. Not until you bring her an enchanted. Here, chick, 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 chick. I will return. Yes, she may even give you an egg. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
built altar dedicated to Svarog, god of blacksmiths. He should have more offerings. I hear sounds of hammers and anvils in the distance. The altar is now silent.
chit 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 Here Chit 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 Ooh she left you a gift <laughs> Travel well lad Me, please, I do not want to die. I will let you go this time. Uh, thank you. Take this and use it when in need. I will come to your aid. Farewell. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.